Hello guys, welcome back to another episode. I'm currently at Sydney Airport. Today I'm flying Cathay Pacific CX138 from Sydney to Hong Kong. So let's go check in and I'm gonna see everything. It's currently 7, 6.30 p.m. and the airport is quite busy. I didn't actually think it's gonna be this busy. Uh, but anyway, we'll go see and uh, let's see what it's like. If you're new to my channel, hello there and welcome. My name is David. In creating this channel, I want to share my own experiences traveling around the world by making honest and unsponsored videos about flights, hotel and destination vlogs. You can expect to find the exact fare and the booking agent I use as well as all the benefits I receive, if any, in all of my videos moving forward. I also share booking tips and tricks so you can get the exact same deal for yourself later. Please also consider give the video a like, comment and share as well as subscribe to the channel. Those are truly the easiest ways you can do to support me and help this channel grow. So thank you very much in advance. So there is a dedicated line for a business class and a line for economy. If you're flying with premium economy, there is also a dedicated check-in lane for premium economy passengers. But it's quite hidden down the back, so you're going to have to actually loop around to go through that. So if you're flying premium economy, make sure you go through that lane to speed up the process. Thank you. you can access the Pontus Crisis Lounge. Yes. Do you know where it is? Yes, it is. Yeah. As you go past Hong Kong, Ho Chi Minh, yep. Sydney, Hong Kong, our gate is 32 to 910. Okay, thank and you. It takes less than five minutes from launch to gate. Oh, okay, no worries. Thank you so much. And the security is available. No worries. Thank you. Have a good yeah. evening. So I got my boarding passes. Today I'm actually got two. I'm actually flying through to Ho Chi Minh City from Sydney via Hong Kong. So um, yeah, that took about 10 minutes. That's quite. There's one person ahead of me and it's quite busy with a lot of families and luggages. Now um, one tip if you fly in business class, um, the regular entrance of the departure is here, the first one you will see, but if you keep walking past check-in E towards the other side, there is a dedicated departure area for first and business class passengers. So I'm walking past check-in D uh, you will see another entrance it's actually just behind the Qantas area so if you do fly Qantas it's right there in front of you if you fly other airlines walk back to check-in area D um, you will see a sign that says first and business class all right here we are first and business class departure and we're going to be in there. All right, I'm through to the air side. So it's actually quite busy, but it didn't take very long. About five minutes, I guess, since I enter security. Um, they had to actually double check my passport, so I'm not sure why. Um, but anyways, that was good. Uh, we inside. Let me just show you a couple of shots. Wow, it's very busy. So many shops. Oh my God, let's check out a couple of shops. Wow, the airport actually looked nice. I feel like Christmas in here, so many lights. So if you're actually traveling to Sydney Airport or through Sydney Airport and you bought any items over $300 or a combined bill of $300 or more and um, you have an ABN and a receipt and an invoice, you can claim uh, the GST portion back. So it's approximately 10% of the purchase price. Uh, so I bought a new laptop for my friend. So I'm going to go claim that back. Be the kids zone area, gate 8 to 9 and 
go through that is a tourist refund. It's actually quite empty this evening, so I'm actually happy. I have to wait too long and more time to enjoy the lounge. All right, so that's all done too. So that took about three minutes. So it's currently 7 p.m., 7 p.m. and our flight departing at 9.50. Boarding start at 9, 10, 15. So I want to be there early. We have about two hours to go and three lounges to check out today. So I'm going to be on quite a mission. All right, so let's see. I say the first lounge I'm going to go through is Qantas. I'm going to go through the Qantas Business Class Lounge. Business Class passengers, One World Sapphire and Cafe status holders have access to the Qantas Business Class Lounge or the Qantas First Class Lounge. If you have One World Emerald or um, Cafe Diamond. So the Qantas Lounge is very convenient located near gate 8 to 10. So just up the stairs. Both the first class and the business class lounges are upstairs, so I'm just going to take the escalator up. Chin City Qantas lounges, um, Cathay Pacific passengers, uh, business class passengers at Sydney can also access the, the house by Aspire Lounge, uh, which we're going to also check out later. I'm not sure if you can access both lounges with the same boarding pass. Uh, but uh, anyways, the house lounge is by priority pass, so I'm gonna have I'm gonna use my priority pass benefit to access this lounge, and I'm gonna film it and uh, show it to you guys, so you can decide for yourself which one is more worth it. So here is the entrance to the Qantas lounge. I've been here since July 2023, so nine months ago. It's actually quite nice. This is the Qantas lounge. Very nice. Just go in and see what do we have. In the middle there are some seating areas with already set up tables and glasses of wine. You can help yourself to a glass of wine. I'm just gonna go find some space to put my stuff and I'm gonna check out the dinner for tonight. Middle is in lamb stew, roasted vegetables, eggplants, cuckoos, the chicken curry for dinner. It's actually dinner time now. It's a very nice chicken curry some couscous and vegetables and sort of a lentil vegetables curry but there's no labels at all so I'm not sure so I've got bread a salad bar with some tomatoes hummus cheese tuna lots of different salad and more salad over in this side of the lounge there is also a hot soup counter I think that's pumpkin soup for tonight with some red rolls, uh, also with a Moroccan red lentil, again, I'm wrong, Moroccan red lentil soup. That's coffee tea with Duma Exceptional, so that's very good. Duma Exceptional tea, uh, coffee machine, self-serve coffee machine. I think it's not terrible, but it's sort of like all over the place. They just set up random counters everywhere, putting stuff. So it's not like the nicest place and they really need a renovation. Uh, over here you do have some self-serve beverage stations, beer. and some Moroccan lamb curry. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. All right, so let's take a walk to the side of the lounge. There is barista made coffee, I suppose. Yeah, there is barista made coffee. Um, it's more of the same here. If it gets busy, this area, oh yeah, this area is actually stocked with food too. So it's on either side of the lounges this evening. Same kind of food on both sides of the lounge. This side is quieter. More people tend to just go in and go to the left. Now it's only on the other side of the lounge. Um, so we're going to walk back to the, when you go in, turn left. That's where the showers are.
entrance to the showers. There's towels, there's a set of razor and shaving cream, some shower caps, uh, and a comb. So quite a basic set of amenities for your shower. All right, there's lots of showers, so I'm just going to go through a random one. Right. To the Qantas Lounge International Business Class, um, Sydney Airport shower tool. So you've got a sink, you've got hand wash and hand cream, and very old fashioned dryer. Woo! Some napkins, a, a stool to sit to do your makeup, a toilet. There's a toilet, very nice showers with body washed, conditioner, and shampoo. So it's a rain shower too, looks like the rain shower. It's actually quite nice, so I like it. It's good to have a nice shower here. my lounge pass for the Qantas lounge so I'm just going to access the house by Aspire using my priority pass card. Um, I'm just going to go through and check it out and you can decide for yourself which one you like better. So this is the house by Aspire lounge. There's butter, there's bread rolls, hummus, bean salad, kale salad, raw medley, seasonal roasted vegetables, chicken breast with tomato and cinnamon sauce, and a biryani. Yeah, I'm actually going to have some of that later. Thank you. Enjoy. Very nice apple spritz. Mm. Yummy, yummy. Um, yeah, the house by Aspire Lounge is a lot smaller than the Qantas Lounge, but I think it's nicer. In fact, that it's cozier. It's got a much better time of view. Literally, the plane is right in front of me right now. And um, the food, food-wise, it's about the same level, I guess. Not exceptional. I think I rate the food at either the Emirates Lounge if you're into Middle Eastern cuisine or the Singapore Airlines Lounge, the best. So, how did I book this flight? Thanks to the power of Qantas frequent flight points, I was able to book this journey from Sydney to Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, via Hong Kong for 90,000 Qantas points, plus 356 Australian dollars in fees and taxes. That's two flights, an all life flight business class with lounge access and luxury comfort. It's incredible given the cash fare for these routes are usually $3,000 one way. The Sydney to Hong Kong sector alone costs 75,000 points, while adding another sector to Ho Chi Minh City is an additional 15,000 points. Now, boarding has commenced, let's check out the plane. There is a queue for business class passengers, but the line is very long. So we're still waiting to board the aircraft. Hey, how are you? Yeah. 
Thank you so much. What? Well, they're very nice. Alright, let's board a plane. Exciting. So, Airbus A350-1000 will take us to Hong Kong today. Bravo Lima X-Ray Lima. It's a five-year-old or soon-to-be five-year-old Airbus A350-1000. 28, please. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right, welcome on board Airbus A350-1000. All right, welcome to the A350-1000 in business class. Let's see, got a very big screen in front of us. Very nice HD monitor. A big tabletop on the side so you can place your laptop, iPad for working. Over here we have the remote control, a light switch. Turn a light, seat control, just like the one in your car. There are shortcut buttons to turn the bed into a light flat mode or into bed. Night mode with light. Um, there's a bottle of water, noise cancelling headphones and an amenity kit. Oh, this is a different colour I haven't had before, so that's very nice. Perfect. I'll go through it later uh, in detail so you can see. Hello everyone. Your seat. We have your attention, please. Business class dining menu. The aircraft is now being refueled. And business class please beverages. Seated and do not fall. There's also a coat hook here. So if you like hooking things, it's a coat hook. Hello, everyone. It is a safety requirement that all items are secure. And there's a literature pocket down in here. It's A350-1000. I know. Oh, you press this button, it actually raises this. I'm not sure what this is for. So it actually makes the bed area a lot bigger, which I'll show you later when I uh, turn into a bed. One of the nice features is this storage options here. You can open this, so open to a very spacious area that's enclosed and secure. So you can put your shoes, small bags, handbags in there. The table is also very large as well. I have a 16 inch MacBook Pro and it fits perfectly. So working inside is going to be very fine. It's actually very comfortable. All right, so let's see what's inside the amenity kit. So we have a very nice pouch by Bamford. So you got toothpaste, toothbrush, which I just used. Let's see what everything else in there. So there is an eye mask, a little uh, guide, there's earplugs, a mouthwash for the morning, some lip balm, a hand and body lotion, and a face mist. So that's a very nice set. Right, that's all the set. Very nice. And of course, it comes to this pouch that you can actually reuse for your um, amenities and cosmetic. Probably the weird part in me, but this I find the most satisfying. You have to take a listen. <laughs> How nice that! One more time. from where you're sitting. Can't really see people on the other side because due to the curvature of the seat with the privacy section here, that's quite private. And a pillow, actually quite nice. It's not the biggest nor the softest. There's also a pair of slippers available and the bedding, very thick bedding. So that's actually going to be quite nice. Oh, nice graphic. Hong Kong. Oh, yes. Uh, can I get two? <laughs> can I get an orange juice and a champagne? Yeah. Thank you so much. Hi, how are you? Uh, I saw you 
Yes, yeah, right. Yeah, okay. Any drinks, please? Can I have a glass of the champagne? Champagne. Yeah. And a red wine, a yeah. French wine. The French wine. Yes, please. Thank you so much. Oh, sorry. Can I have a cafe delight too? Yeah. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> so, it's actually quite a nice space to sit in. Uh, yeah. Just waiting for takeoff now. We have been pushed back from the gate at 9:50 a.m. Uh, 9:50 p.m. Sorry. So right back on time. Very good. So hopefully we're going to be at Hong Kong quite earlier than schedule. Pacific has one of the best entertainment system in the industry. So look at the movies menu. So this is the new menu this month. So let's see. Wow, so far. Oh, sorry. Let's go back to the movies menu. Go through Napoleon, Aquaman, Cockwell, Big Girls, Wish. And if you just look at the just added, this is a newer interface. They had a different interface before, but yeah, the movie list is just endless. Keep going on and on and on. There's latest releases, award winning Chinese cinema, Asian cinema, as if Chinese is not Asian, but they have a separate category. Uh, European cinema. Hong Kong documentary Emma Stone they have a whole session for just Emma Stone movies Korean drama A24 collections you know, Disney Plus Disney Plus Disney Plus movie you see it's keep going on and on and on so if you do fly Cathay Pacific you will never get bored um, there's actually I don't think you ever finish all the entire collections I wonder if they won the category. There's AI collections, there's a John Wick collections. Yeah, but man, that's just movies. There's TV. Alright, so you get the idea. There's live TV, BBC News. So much better than say A and A. Gosh. Go see live TV underneath Discovery Channel, Comedy, Hong Kong TV, Asia TV, Disney Plus again shows. Wow, you can obviously control the infotainment system through this remote as well. So, uh, oh, you can turn off, turn on. Let's see, I have to navigate this. Oh, it's a touch screen too. Press home, fly. Oh, I've got to learn how to use this first. There's quite an interactive map. You can zoom, scroll, pan. There's different modes as well. Explorer, there's the cockpit mode. Basically, show you the cockpit at 37,000 feet. There's a cruising altitude already. Aircraft 360, very nice graphic. World Explorer. Layer to see our route. So our route today take us north out of Australia, passing the Northern Territory, Darwin, through the Philippines, and uh, into Hong Kong. There are no free Wi-Fi, however. There's a one-hour pass for nine dollars ninety-five USD, and a whole flight pass for the entire flight for nineteen dollars ninety-five USD. I didn't actually check it out because it's a nighttime flight, so I intend to sleep most of the flight. 
Uh, if I have a daytime fly later on, I'm probably going to check it out and see what the speed is like. But as a negative point, Singapore Airlines offer free Wi-Fi, even for economy passage. So come on, Cathay Pacific, up your game. Oh, thank you so much. So got a oh, steak sandwich. Wow, well, steak. She I like this bread a lot. Got the Cafe Delight, French red wine, and the glass of champagne. So, wow, very nice dinner. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Appreciate it. So we got chamomile tea, Ben and Jerry vanilla ice cream, and some cheeses. You can choose a different, a lot of different dessert. I just choose these three. All right, very nice, guys. Very nice. It's so nice to give me some chocolate private hands. Show you how spacious the seat is. Cafe Pacific seat is really wide, so you basically get all this space from here to here, and then this little, then this little area here is also part of the bed where you lie down. So when you actually do lie down, it turns out to be very, very generous. So not cram, just open up here. Compared to other reverse herringbone seat, this one is actually very nice. Right, good night. So, Fligery. So, anyways, welcome to the A350 1000 uh, lavatory. So, let's do a quick tour here because so Fligery, I don't like it, and I don't think you guys like it either. So, trash goes here, nice sink, uh, hand wash, unbranded. Bamford hand washed hand gel and body lotion. I'm just going to quickly change to my shorts and t-shirt to um, easily rest. There is the cover. The toilet seat has cover already put there. So I think in a changing table. It's quite nice. And nice mirrors. So overall pretty standard toilet. It's at the beginning of the fly actually. So hopefully you stay clean for the entire flight. But anyways, co hook. So the carbon crew had just begun the breakfast service. We begin with a hot towel. Very nice. Oh, sorry. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
So we have some pastry, there is a cinnamon bun, croissant, some fruit, butter, and the Western options got bacon, some eggs, spinach, asked for an orange juice, and a black tea, breakfast tea. So yeah, it's very nice. Myself, the captain of the crew, thanks for choosing a flight with Canada Pacific. It's been our pleasure having you on board. And uh, for the cabin crew, that's 35 minutes to landing. Thank you. To the cabin crew, and we are 35 minutes from landing. They're just going around and handing out uh, Avia and bottled water for all the passengers. So that's a really nice touch. Thank you, bye bye. So, we just landed. Welcome to Hong Kong International Airport. We just landed from CX138. So, let's go through the check in area now. Sorry, let's go through the transit area now. I'm going to show you how to transit at HKIA. Um, yeah, sign transfer and immigration is the same. Just follow to the left and just keep going it's very clearly posted and signed so you can't really miss it and there's a lot of staff around to assist if you need any um, assistance so what's my thought of the flight i think it was a really good flight um, the crew were extremely nice there was there seemed to be lots of staff so it looks like Cathay pacific has you know returned back to their former glory after COVID, um, staff was super nice and friendly, more than welcome to assist, gave us lots of food. So yeah, I think, I think Cathay Pacific is now, you know, the top, top airline again, at least for my experience in this flight. I say they on par with Singapore Airlines. Um, the seat is really comfortable, very wide, spacious, flight departed on time, and we arrived actually 10 minutes early into Hong Kong. So still walking towards the transfer desk or transfer area. Quite a fair walk away. To your right will be the immigration into Hong Kong. And here will be the transfer. So to your left, put the yellow transfer arrow, just follow that. It will lead you to this area for transfer. You have to do a transfer security here. So just basically uh, baggage check and everything else. Okay, so no transfer is done. Super quick, there's like barely anyone. So it took like two, three minutes. Just go through normal airport security, laptops and iPad out on the tray and everything else, it's stay inside. So yeah, quick and easy. Thank you so much for watching thus far and goodbye. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.